Hi, this is Dunamis333. My brothers and sisters, there's now two days that we're looking at as the possible days of the rapture. I'm looking at the 4th of March, 2022, and the 2nd of April, 2022. We'll get to that in a minute. First, I would like to um, point you to my brother here, BA049. He posted this video yesterday. This actually is the last day we were expecting the rapture. Now, he was shown a Russian sub launch missile, a missile towards uh, San Francisco. This is what he uh, was shown. I just uh, wrote it out here. Bear Ofo now was shown that after an EMP hit, so there's going to be an EMP that's going to destabilize all the electronics across the US. After an EMP hits the US, a Russian submar submarine parked along California's coastline launches a tactical nuclear missile which detonates over the city of San Francisco, completely destroying it. He was shown this uh, in, in a vision or dream that he had many years ago. Um, he couldn't understand why, because at that time he had this vision, the relationship between Russia and the US was, was good. So, But now it's looking like this is about to happen, my brothers and sisters. Um, I also like to point you to this um, article uh, from Zero Hedge, written by... Um, posted by this gentleman here look at what this uh, this is a, a russian propaganda pro, i don't know how to pronounce this propagandist now a russian tv host dubbed putin's chief propagandist has threatened the nuclear destruction of america and nato countries asking why do we need the world if russia isn't there in other words if we can if we are destroyed we're going to destroy everything else I mean, we know that uh, Russia is getting desperate. This war with Ukraine, they're not winning it. Um, NATO has, uh, and Europe has freezed the uh, the bank. Uh, Russia, they cannot, they cannot bank with the outside world. So really, this war has already started. So Russia is getting desperate. They're not winning this war uh, with U Ukraine. And now this is what this man is saying. Dmitry Kozeyov made the comments on national television just hours after President Vladimir Putin put his nuclear deterrence forces on high alert. Our submarines can shoot more than 500 nuclear warheads, said Kiselov, adding, this will guarantee destruction of the US and all other NATO countries. The TV host suggested that there was no point to life continuing on earth if Russia ceases to exist. Asserting, in accordance with the principle, why do we need the world if Russia isn't there? You see? So, this is it, my brothers and sisters. This brother was shown this years ago. And it looks like the more we see um, Russia get more and more desperate, the more likely this is about to happen. Sudden destruction. It could happen as early as the 4th of March. Now, this is uh, my timeline uh, for the, 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 the seven-year tribulation. Now, we know that the seven-year tribulation is 2,520 days. That's 30 days of uh, 42 months times two. Seven years, 84 months in total. This is the, the time. Now... If it starts on the 4th, this is what we have. I'm looking at this verse here. This is Daniel 12, 11, 12. And from the time that the daily sacrifice is taken away and the abomination of desolation is set up, there shall be 1,290 days. Blessed is he who waits and comes to the 1,335 days. Now, when people read this at first, you're thinking that the daily sacrifice is to do with um, animal sacrifices. But I'm proposing that it's very likely that the daily sacrifices are us. We are the ones that are currently 
offering up daily sacrifices because we are the priesthood on earth today. You see, so from the time that the daily sacrifice is taken away, it could be on the 4th of March. Now, why are we why why does it say daily sacrifices? Because look at these verses here. First Peter 2 5. You also, as living stones, are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. We, the body of Christ, are the only ones offering up daily sacrifices today. How are we doing this? Through our good works. Look at Philippians 4, 8, uh, 18. Indeed, I have all and abound. I am full, having received from Epaphroditus the things sent from you, a sweet-smelling aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing to God. Every time we show an act of loving-kindness to others, it's an acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing to God. This is happening all over the world through the body of Christ, those who are filled with the Holy Spirit. Look at Hebrews 13, 15, 16. Therefore by him, that's by the Spirit of God within us, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But do not forget to do good and to share, for with such sacrifices God is well pleased. The only people who are uh, pleasing God on earth are the body of believers who are doing good, who are offering uh, praise to God, who are giving thanks to God, who are serving one another. This is how we offer up sacrifices daily to God. So this is what I believe this is referring to. And from the time that the daily sacrifice is taken away, taken away when? In the rapture. And the abomination of desolation is set up. There shall be 1,290 days. Now what does this mean? I believe that should the rapture happen on the 4th of March, 2022, 30 days later, you're going to have Israel, uh, they're going to start the animal sacrifice. They're going to start to do the animal sacrifices straight away. They don't need to wait for a temple. They don't need to wait for a temple to be built. So they will start the animal sacrifices on the um, 30 days later. 30 days later on the spiritual new year, which will be the 3rd of um, uh, April, 2022. And they'll throughout the, for the first 12, 60 days, they'll build the temple and they'll be allowed to do the animal sacrifices in the temple. But that will only continue until 1290 days after the rapture. So 1290 days after the rapture, that will bring us to, as you can see, it will bring us to the 14th of September 2025. This is when the uh, the Antichrist will 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 cause the, uh, the sacrifices to cease. He will remove it. That's when a lot of people are going to flee to Petra, and you know. And then we're told, 45 days after that, that is a blessed day, 28th October 2025. That's one hundred uh, one thousand three hundred and thirty five days after the rapture. That is when it's going to be a blessed day. I believe that's going to be the rapture of tribulation saints. I mean, I'm not always believed in a, in a, in a second rapture, but it's very possible that that's when the, the tribulation saints are going to be raised up. So we're looking at, you know, let me just read this again. And from the time, 4th of March, 2022, that the daily sacrifice taken away, the rapture, and the abomination of desolation is set up, there will be 1,290 days, you see. So, the daily sacrifice is taken away. And then, 1,290 days after that, the abomination is set up. And then, 45 days after the abomination is set up, it's a blessed day. The rapture of tribulation saints. And he who waits for that day will be blessed with it. I believe that's the tribulation saints rapture. And then you have another 1,185 days to the end 
of the um, seven year tribulation that will be so from the 29th of October 2025 the last seven plagues will be poured out on the earth and then that will mark the end of the seven year tribulation on the 25th of January 2029 this is if the rapture takes place on the 4th of March alternatively if we're still here beyond the 4th of March then the the next day I'm looking at is the 2nd of April 2022 this is the last day of the 120th Jubilee year. this is 6,000 years since the creation of Adam and Eve this will mark the, the the last day of the Jubilee year so this is the next day I am looking at possibly of the rapture if we're still here beyond the 4th of March and then everything that I, I um, posted here we just move everything forward by about 30 days and then the same thing happens uh, you can see here so instead of it being um, instead of the, the, the tribula seven year tribulation ending on the 25th of January 2029 it will end on the 23rd of February 2029 and everything is moved forward by about 30 days so that's why I just wrote this here so I'll, I'll leave this in the comments so uh, anybody can look at it and um, have a, an idea of what I'm looking at so this is just to um, see where we are at the present time. Uh, things are heating up seriously in um, in Ukraine. Uh, uh, as you know, that um, Putin is getting more and more desperate and anything can happen. But this is where we are. We The sudden destruction is about to happen, guys. Um, be ready. Uh, be prayed up. Uh, continue to offer daily sacrifices to God. We are the priesthood here. We are about to be taken away in the rapture. And then the um, Israel, the, those who are uh, what are they call the, those the, those who are make up the priesthood on earth who, who do the animal sacrifices, they're gonna they're gonna quickly start to do that straight away. They've got about thirty days to prepare for that, so that they'll start the new the Jewish New Year with the sacrifices. They'll build the temple, you know, and then they'll be allowed to do the animal sacrifices until the the, uh, the Antichrist causes it to cease, and then they'll free the Petra and then God will um, God will save the tribulation saints in a, in a second rapture possible second rapture I'm not quite that could be the case I, they might just be protected but it looks like it's going to be a, a, another rapture then and then the, the God's wrath God's uh, the last plague to be poured out and that will end the seven year tribulation and then that will mark the end of um, then the millennium will continue on after the seven years you know so this is what i i'm seeing so let's be uh be prepared let's be uh, prayed up let's continue to be uh, eagerly await the coming of our messiah the lord jesus christ and i'll see you at the wedding banquet bye for now